when you were on the playground. Remember the carefree recesses filled with playing sports, skipping rope, or just running around with your friends? This is where you first learned how to form social relationships. It's where you began to understand how you were perceived by others. How did you feel when you were picked first in gym class? How about when you were picked last? Unfortunately, kids with autism spectrum disorder often have a hard time playing and interacting with their peers. Most of us are aware that autism involves social difficulties, but did you know that 70 to 80% of kids with autism also have sensory motor deficits? Sensory motor function is the integration of senses and movement that we use to interact with the world around us. It's how we can type on our computers, even without looking, and how we can communicate using body language or facial expressions. We all use it every single day. And how you played and interacted with your peers on the playground has a huge impact on how you interact with the world today. Basically, sensory motor and social skills work together to help us function in daily life. But what we don't know is how these two puzzle pieces fit with each other in kids with autism. Does poor coordination make it difficult to socialize? Do poor social skills affect how kids move? Or is it a bit of both? Before we can answer that, we need to know which aspects of sensory motor function are actually different in autistic kids. Even though these issues with movements are common, there's little standardized research available on how kids with autism move and sense the world around them. For my master's project, I set out to measure these differences extremely precisely, in a new way, by using a robot. Our robot measures children's arm movements while they complete tasks in a virtual reality environment. Using this, we robotically measured arm movements in over 180 kids, including groups with and without autism. We found that autistic kids struggle making accurate movements. They had a harder time with position sense or knowing where your arm is when you're not looking at it. They had a lot of trouble with inhibition, such as making a movement when they weren't supposed to. We also found that the kids with the biggest sensory motor issues struggled the most with social communication. So what does this mean? My research provides a starting point for creating more inclusive programming, whether in schools or through community sports. We know for a fact that many social skills develop through childhood playground interactions. Poor coordination and motor issues may be making it more difficult for kids with autism to socialize through playing with their peers. My work aims to create specialized support systems for kids with autism so that they don't have to struggle with the social effects of always being picked last. Mm -hmm.